Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and as you can see, I'm in my shop today and in this video, I'm gonna be chatting to you about my current fabric recommendations for patterns that we have used in past G&G Sewing Society kits. So if you aren't sure what I'm meaning when I talk about the G&G Sewing Society, basically about two years ago now, we started doing monthly dressmaking kits so we would release two new ones each month and inside the kit would be everything you would need to make a specific garment with fabric and all of the notions and anything else that you might need to complete the project and also as part of the kit you would get access to an exclusive video that I would make especially for the kit that would be like my top tips for getting a really successful make that was with the fabric that was included in the kit. Now we do still have available all of the back catalogue of those um, videos that came with past kits to buy as a sort of separate thing but the kits are kind of limited edition really so we have like a set amount that we that we sell that we source all of the fabric and supplies for each month and then sort of once they're gone they're gone kind of thing but the patterns are always really versatile and it is always my hope that you can reuse the patterns again and again and make lots of different versions of the garment so in the video today i've got about five different groups of kind of different types of fabric that are all current ones that are in the shop so I'm filming this in March 2021 and hopefully it just gives you an idea of like when you come to match fabrics with patterns all of the patterns are still available just as like sort of separate patterns whether it be PDF or we have the paper traditional paper copy of them so yeah hopefully it gives you some ideas for dressmaking projects so the first pattern that I'm going to talk about is the Megan Nielsen Jara jumper which is actually the jumper that I'm wearing just now and I think this was in the second month that we did kits so that would have been in May 2019 and the fabric that we used at the time was this pink one here but when we first started doing kits there was only ever one choice of fabric and it's kind of grown a bit since then so there's usually about three or four choices of fabric now and um, but yeah we chose this pink one and it's got a sort of gold sparkle in it and the reverse of the fabric is a really lovely sort of fleecy brushed um, sweatshirting so it's a bit of a heavier weight sweatshirting and it's really cozy so this is the sample that I made for the kit and I do wear it quite a lot like I've been basically wearing it very regularly for the past couple of years and um, so obviously I wash it as well I've got children you know have to wash my clothes quite regularly and I feel like it's just worn in really well it's still the fabric still looks really good um, and yeah I've just really enjoyed wearing it really so at the moment we have got four colorways of exactly the same fabric but um the little fleck in it is different so i've got one where it's like a little silver sparkle in it and one where it's kind of multicolored as well so yeah i've got four different colors and um, i've got this lovely sort of greeny one here and it has got a silver sparkle in it and i'll just show you the reverse of it as well so you can see sort of how cozy it is it's lovely and soft it's really really nice and um, this fabric doesn't have that much stretch in it so as you can see on the jumper that i've made i use the same fabric for the cuffs and the neck band and the hem band as well so in the top tips video that was that I made for the Jara which as I said is still available and I'll put a link to a blog post that goes with this video so you can then get links to all of the fabrics that I talk about in all the videos as well and um, I talk you through how to do that I do also have just like a general video as well that's on sewing jersey neckband so you would find that useful too in terms of using the same fabric for the neckband but the other option that you could do for these other colorways of the fabric that I've got is you could use the cuffing so I've got a lovely sort of I think we've called this one pumpkin it's a lovely kind of orange orangey sort of colour and the little fleck in that is more of a kind of goldy colour and this cuffing that we've got here it's not an exact colour match but I think it does tone fairly nicely you know it would it would look nice and um, and I do also have a video that shows you how to use this cuffing as well so you can check that out that's just generally on my YouTube channel too and um, so you could use that for the cuffs and the hem band and then you could just trim it down to use it for the neck band as well if you wanted to then the other two colorways we've got is this lovely kind of sort of icy blue color and it has got a silver sparkle in it which is lovely I just love how this fabric catches the light and again I don't really have an exact color match for that one but um, 
it's a little bit darker than it but that sort of cornflower blue kind of tones in well so it would be like a little bit of a contrast but I think it looks quite cool anyway or of course you could just opt for the same fabric like I did my, in my original version or then the final colourway that I've got is this lovely one here it's an indigo multi sparkle because the sparkles in this one are lots of different colours so there's a bit of blue a bit of gold a bit of pink in there it's really nice and then we've got some um, sort of marled cuffing as well kind of blue marl cuffing which I think matches really nicely with that one that would be a really lovely colour combo um, for that one so yeah some lovely suggestions there for the Jara which is the same fabric as the original one I mean you can use any sort of sweatshirting we do stock loads and loads of different sweatshirting fabrics but I thought I'd highlight these because they did kind of match the original sample so the next group of fabrics I wanted to show you are a new range of woven viscose prints that we have had in so they're all really lovely and lightweight they're all very very drapey and fluid and lovely and silky and soft and we've got quite a few um, prints where there's like two colorways of each one so it just gives you a few more options in the color department so you can see here it's got really lovely sort of fluidity and kind of drape to it and we've done quite a few different kits that would be compatible with this type of viscose fabric it's pretty opaque so it's not see-through so for dresses you wouldn't need to line it but I did want to highlight a few key patterns that I think would be really good for these prints so the first one is the Dirindo Magnolia dress which um, I think would have been in the first year that we did the kits and um, this is the sample here and it, unfortunately the sample has faded a bit because it was in our window display and um, originally we used a custom print Liberty so this print this Liberty print didn't exist on this fiscal space we got it printed especially for us probably get a sense of the colors a bit more in the reverse but it's just a really lovely dress it's got a, an invisible zip at the side gorgeous sort of fluttery sleeves and then a wrap like a full wrap at the front and then it's got a tie at the back as well which is really nice and this would look gorgeous in those printed viscoses just that style of sleeve would be really nice the other good ones that are past kits are the Megan Nielsen Sudley it's a super versatile dress loads of different things you could do with that and in the video that I made to go with the kit I also show you how to make it into a maxi or a midi dress as well so it's quite a simple bodice also reversible so you can have that as the front or that as the front and then this one I made like a midi version so I just added on like an extra tier at the bottom here so yeah I show you how to do that in the video and I also show you how to add on a little belt tie and just sew those really lovely little thread loops there so um, another gorgeous one for viscose the other classic one which I'm sure you've seen lots of versions of is the Frizy Pattern Company Wilder and this is a, a maxi dress as well but you can make a blouse version of it too really really simple it's got raglan sleeves so they're nice and easy to insert and it's just that sort of classic kind of loose billowing gathered style of dress it's lovely and yeah it would look just gorgeous in those lovely fluid new viscoses that we've got and um, the other one which i don't have the sample to show you right now but i'll, I'll bring up a picture so i can show you anyway is the avid seamstress blouse pattern which is really good if you're quite new to making shirts or blouses because the way that the button band is made at the front is quite simple you just sort of fold it over there's not like an extra strip of fabric to sew on and it is it's quite sort of loose fitting and it looks really nice when you tuck it in and then it kind of billows over the top has that sort of blousing effect so yeah that is another lovely one for viscose but um yeah we have done so many kits that are for viscose and it's such a versatile fabric but I thought it would be quite nice to highlight those ones anyway so the next group of fabrics I've got to show you are a range of some embroidered gauze fabric so gauze is um, cotton and it's quite a thin fabric it's got quite a loose weave to it and you can either get double gauze or single gauze so double gauze is just like two layers of this very sort of fine loose weave fabric that are kind of like sewn together really but you don't really see the stitches that are sewing them together but it makes it kind of spongy a little bit and then single gauze is just one layer of it but it's a really lovely fabric it's very cool to wear it's nice for the summertime and yeah we've got this fabric in two um, two sort of slightly different ranges at the moment and a few colorways in each range so this one here is a double gauze and it's got this really lovely sort of embroidered little kind of flower design on it with a cutaway in the middle 
and yeah as i said it's a double gauze so it's got a little bit more weight to it it feels really lovely and soft four gorgeous colorways of that one and then the other one that we've got is this one here which is a single gauze and then on it it has got an embroidered spot and um, which is really nice and it's got it's got such a lovely sort of natural kind of earthy texture now you'll notice especially with this white one this this one does come in two other colorways which you can see just on the shelf behind me there so it's sort of yellowy kind of ochre color and then an orangey color too and um, it is a little bit more opaque so it would depend sort of what your style was and what you liked whether you wanted to line it or not if you were making a top then i would suggest either just wearing like a little camisole or a vest underneath it or then you can line it with just plain cotton voile so here what i've got is just some really fine cotton voile so it's very thin it's a bit like lawn but it gets called voile and um, so it's just like a little bit lighter weight and then what you can do is so you'll see that once I sort of layer those two together it just makes the fabric kind of a bit more opaque really you can probably still see my hand through it a little bit but obviously better than what it was before and there's a few different options for how you would do that depending on what pattern you were making so the two past kit patterns that i pulled out to sort of pair with these fabrics the first one is the ogden cami which we originally did in a choice of three different viscose fabrics here so um hopefully that gives you an idea of sort of what the style of the top is like it's just a little camisole and um, it's kind of a line it's not got darts or anything so it's quite loose um, and yeah it's just a really lovely summery make so obviously any of the viscoses that i showed you before would be good for this project too but what happens on the inside of this garment is it's got what's called a partial lining so if i turn it inside out and then you will see what it's like on the inside so basically it's a bit like a facing but it's sort of deeper so it just kind of comes down and sort of part lines the top basically or part lines the garment so what you could do if you were using one of these fabrics is that instead of doing a partial lining you just do a full lining so you would just use the same pattern piece for the front and back bodice and just cut that out of the cotton voile the cotton lawn and then when you're going through the instructions you would just attach it like it tells you to do for the partial lining tell you know it tells you how to attach it all together and everything around the, the neckline and the armholes but that section would just be a bit longer so it would mean that the two layers were sort of separate to each other the lining was kind of separate to each other now the other way that you could do it which is maybe going to be a bit more easy for something like this one which is the grain line willow and this is just a lovely little sort of sleeveless kind of tank top bit more fitted on the bust because it's got darts and then it's just sort of a line and no fastenings or anything so it's loose enough that you can just pull it on and off over your head but what you could do for that as another sort of option for lining it is you could just cut out your bodices out of your main fabric same out of the lining fabric as well and then before you actually start to construct the garment and sew in the dart and everything is just put the front you know the bodice piece so say like the front bodice of this fabric and the front bodice of this fabric put them together and then baste all the way around so just like sew within the seam allowances all the way around the edge so it basically becomes like one layer of fabric and then just continue to construct the garment and following the instructions but just pretending that those two layers are one and you know just treat them as one one fabric basically so Hopefully that gives you a sort of quick overview of a few different ways that you could do that. Um, you know, it is optional, you wouldn't need to. Um, this one especially is a little bit heavier. Obviously it's got those cut out holes in it, so that might be something to consider. Maybe you just want to have your best brow on underneath or something, or have a little vest top as I said. But um, yeah, they're both really lovely fabrics. Very, very summery and yeah, perfect for nice little summer tops. So the next fabric and pattern combination that I wanted to talk about is the closet core sasha trousers which is this one here so this was the original fabric that we had in the kit this was back in 2019 as well um, and these are my actual trousers i wear them a lot and um, i've washed them a lot over the past couple of years and i've, I've been really pleased with them and um, 
this was originally a Liberty Stretch cotton that we used, which I do think we still have a little bit of left and in a slightly different colourway as well. But we've had some new stretch cottons in that I think would be lovely too. So in the video that came with that kit, I do talk a bit about pattern matching because the sort of kind of emblem or sort of main design on this, this fabric was quite prominent. So um, I just talk about sort of pattern placement and how to consider that with the pockets um, and also show you how to do the welts in the back pocket as well. Um, so d obviously depending on what fabric you would need that may or may not be of interest but um, it's got a fly front um, with just a regular zip in it so it's not like a, a jeans denim zip it's just a normal zip in it surprisingly fairly straightforward to sew you just need to take it step by step and I, and I cover that in the video as well but this lovely range of fabrics that we've had in would be perfect for the Sasha um, I'd love to find the time to make a new pair. Um, I do really like the navy, but I have quite a lot of navy trousers, so I'm thinking maybe this one, which we have called, I think we've called it a slate, slate grey colour. It's one of those colours that's got various different tones, depending on what light you look at in. Sometimes it looks a bit green, sometimes it looks a bit grey, a little bit blue. But it's got this gorgeous paisley print on it, and yeah, just a really lovely, nice cotton fabric with a bit of stretch too. So yeah, three lovely colourways of that one. We do also have a lot of plain stretch cottons too. So if you're just looking for more of a sort of classic, simple pair of trousers that you would pair with various other, maybe fancy or tops or blouses or whatever, that box that's just behind me there, up over my right hand shoulder, that is all of our different colours of plain stretch cotton fabric so they would all be really good for the sash as well and yeah I think it's just one of those sort of if you're if you're someone who wears trousers a lot it's just a really nice sort of classic pair of trousers which you can kind of make as simple or as complicated as you want because you could totally leave out all the pockets which I actually have done a couple of times so it's got sl sort of slash pockets at the front and the welts at the back but you can just omit them and just make it like a really simple pair of trousers so yeah a good a good classic pattern to have in your bag and then the final pattern and fabric combo i wanted to chat to you about in this video is the merchant and mills eve trousers which we did last june as a kit and we had three different colors of serona linen fabric so we had this lovely stone gray color and then this classic black as well so this is this is much more simple pair of trousers than the Sasha. They have a side lapped zip and in the video that came with the kit I show you um, how to get that just looking really flat and neat and um, that lap zipper and then a little button at the top and then some patch pockets at the back so they are fitted more fitted over the waist they've got darts to go over the, um, at the back but then the legs are just sort of like looser but they're really nice I wear mine a lot in the summer the other color that we had in the kit was this navy one here it's not a solid navy though it's a bit more sort of marled which is very nice and the difference with this linen fabric is it's lighter way I would say and it's got more drape to it so Serona is a type of fibre that is so, you know kind of in the same kind of group or family as like viscose and rayon and medal and that sort of thing so it has those kind of fluid properties to it but obviously the linen fibres give it that kind of natural characteristic and a little bit more of a heavier weight and um, this particular fabric does have a bit of kind of give in it or a bit of stretch. It doesn't actually have any stretchy fibres in it. It must just be the way that it's woven really. It has a little bit of give. But we've got some really beautiful new colourways of that Serona linen in. This one's lovely kind of bright blue and then we've had some sort of warmer colours in as well. We've got um, a kind of mauvey sort of pinky colour and then a lovely orange colour too. So quite a few choices there. You could also use just our 100% linen fabrics for the eaves as well. I do also have a navy pair of eaves in that. I did say I had a lot of navy trousers. Um, so that also works really nicely too, just in yeah, classic 100% linen fabric, which we do have lots of different colourways of as well. They're the ones that are just behind my left shoulder there. Um, so yeah, another good option for like a summery trouser that is just yeah, nice and simple and a nice classic shape. So I hope you have found inspiration in some of those suggestions. As I said in the beginning, I'll link to a blog post in the description to this video that will just have all of the links to the videos that I've talked about and the patterns and the fabrics as well. 
if anything shown is out of stock do just give us an email and let us know and um, we're always got stuff on order and we're having deliveries all the time so we can just let you know when things come back into stock again because things sort of seem to be moving quite quickly at the moment but we are seeing um, replenishment stock come back through again which is good and um, but thanks so much for watching guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video and I'll see you next time bye